what we do. <laughs> but now on the way, we stopped in Terre Haute. Oh my gosh, that was so her. fun. What is all this delightfulness? Okay, we're just talking about our trip that yeah. we had this last weekend. It was so fabulous. We started out, what, what time did I pick you up? Nine. Nine o'clock <laughs> in the morning. She was all ready to go. I was. She so was sitting by the door. She was sitting by the door. Her think bags were packed. We put them in the van. We had lots of room. We didn't, you know, yeah. you don't <laughs> take as much stuff on a cross stitch retreat as you do on a quilting retreat. No, but we filled it up coming back. Well, we did. We stopped. We stopped. We got to Terre Haute. That's that, as far as we got. That's as far as we got. We saw the antique vendor mall there. And so we. Oh. Ah! Well, know. that was through several parking lots. Yeah, that was because Trixie, my GPS, doesn't like parking lots. So no, she doesn't. We were sitting right in front of it and we were calling them, seeing where they were. <laughs> <laughs> we'll You'll see us. Okay, well. But uh, we made a pretty good dent in our wallets there, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah. We had so much fun there. Did a little Christmas shopping, antiquing. Food stuff. Yeah, they had some Amish food there. Dark, what was the dark chocolate covered espresso? Yeah, but what was that weird beans? stuff that they had? Oh, oh, chocolate covered gummy bears. Yeah, oh. disgusting, oh. disgusting. Okay. The, those two things are good, but not together. And then we saw this one. It was a great big plastic <laughs> Pepsi bottle. It was huge, like was, that, and it was filled with antique popcorn. It was Dale Earnhardt or something. Yeah, it was a NASCAR. It was right. disgusting. <laughs> but we thought. You know, how old is that popcorn yeah. in there? <laughs> it's got to be 150 yeah. years old because it was disgusting looking. I don't think it was that. No, well, okay. It, it's All okay. right. Okay. So, anyway. so then we did get to. <laughs> we finally got there. We got there at, at, in the evening. Yeah. And, and it was fine. Yeah. The, there were already ladies uh, in the oh, yeah. lobby stitching, stitching away. away. I mean, yeah. yeah. Right in the lobby because the room hadn't opened up yet. And yeah. so there was a bunch of them. Yeah. I just went up to them and just started talking to them. Yeah, she it did. It was pretty fun. It was it's lots of fun. We got all our stuff in. We got up to the room. We, uh, I did a little needle punching. Nancy did a little um, uh, knitting. I knitting. finished my sock. Knitting. She finished her sock. That was exciting. Yay. Except for she forgot to bring what was that needle called? Oh, I the forgot darning. My fourth. What? Yeah. No, I forgot my yarn needle. So I was doing the very end of the toe, so then we had to go to Walmart the next day to get a needle. And then later that evening, I thought, oh, well, I'll start the next one. I realized my other double point needle I needed was oh, on. Oh, no. So, so I put it away. But she got one sock done. <laughs> I got so it done, completed, finished. Clean to fame. That was awesome. Yeah, my first one. Yeah. So the next day, the retreat started at, I think it was at 3, 3.30? Uh huh. I think they let us in the room at two thirty. So yeah. what did we do between nine and two <laughs> thirty? We found the silver, the brass armadillo yes. antique mall. The brass yeah. armadillo. The brass armadillo. Yep. I love it. And then we went to a cross book, uh, a scrapbook store a cross too. Cross book store. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I kept calling it a cross stitch store, but that was just wasn't yeah, that right. No. <laughs> no, it was a scrapbook store, and Nancy spent some money there. Whoa! Boy, did I! <laughs> yeah, I bought some stickers, which was kind of fun. Yeah. I used one of them on my bags. See my and fall you decorated stickers. your name tag, and I decorated my name tag, so I always always have uh, something to do with stickers. Yeah. That's always lots of fun. And so when when we got done, we came back to the. Uh, Got all our stuff, got in line. we spent a lot of money at the armadillo. We spent some money at the armadillo. You better believe it. She, I was the apprentice. She was the... <laughs> this is so um, funny. What, what, what did I call you? I don't know, but... Uh, the master antiquer. I mean, I she she gave me grace that I did not find a two dollar jar that she thought I needed. Well, she bought this jar. How much was the jar? You bought twelve fifty. That was a bigger one. That was the big one, yeah, twelve fifty. Yeah, but it was the quilted one. The yeah, the smaller quilted the refrigerator. I mean, the uh, who's your who's your cabinet jar? So it was twelve fifty, I think. Okay. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. And that's a good price for one that size that she got. But then right around the corner, a couple miles down, there was one for two dollars. It was a little bit smaller, but two dollars, and she had passed it up. And I, I said, Nancy, <laughs> I said, I know you're, I know you're just, you know, just a little beginner here and uh, you'll catch on, but you don't pass up a $2 who's your cabinet. <laughs> I didn't see it. Quilt a jar. You just don't do it. You don't do it. Even if you got a hundred of them at home, you don't pass it up. <laughs> Not for $2. In my defense, that was a, a new thing to look for. Yeah. Right. Because normally I'm right. looking for the hammered aluminum, 
the chocolate molds and things like that. So the jar thing was kind of new to me. Yeah. It's growing on Yeah, me. yeah. So we, we both found some fun jars. Yeah. I found one that was a little log cabin. It had maple yes. syrup in it at oh, one time. Wow. And uh, I have the tin one, but I didn't have the oh. glass one. And it hangs next to my log cabin quilt. Oh. So, so cute, you know, right next to the shelf on, on my, yes. with my log cabin quilt. So that was fun. But then we got back to the room and uh, <clears throat> got in line to go into the that stitching room and our seat was the best seat in it the house was. it was it was in the very back very back <laughs> so we were close to the electrical outlets <laughs> the electrical outlets the food line the bathrooms the bathrooms and we had the bigger tables and we had the bigger tables everybody got skinny half half width tables and then they ran out of them so the back row had we got extended but all the other back row tables had three to a table and ours we only had two. had two we had lots of room we spread out it was awesome it was so much fun people were so nice weren't they, they were. nice they were Nancy? very nice they people would come around nice. and look at your spot and we'd go around yeah. oh that was the best part right. looking at everybody's stitchy spot yeah and the things that i liked were <laughs> it interested me and it's what they use to organize their stuff yeah with. it cost me 40 bucks <laughs> yeah there you go because <laughs> fact, she had to buy a lid to a long Dawn burger basket me 40 bucks <laughs> yeah yeah so i went online found one and i bought it for her so i made her pay me back the money so the first designer we sat down we got acclimated to we got our spot our little nest made no don't forget our friends from missouri yeah we met up with our friends from missouri yes. they had come to the shop about yeah. Oh, a couple gosh. months ago. Yeah, it was a couple months ago. Yeah, and I don't know how we got on the subject, but they I, said they were from Missouri, yeah. and I said, oh, we're going to go to a retreat in Missouri. And she says, well, we're going to go to that same yeah. retreat. And I said, well, save us a seat. So they and sat they right next to us. They it did. was so fun. Gina. Hi, Gina. Hi, Claudette and Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> uh, we're so excited uh, to have spent the weekend with you guys. It was yeah. lots of fun. Thanks so, for dinner again. Yeah, thanks for dinner. That was fun. <laughs> we went to this place that had bears it had like uh, uh carvings of bears everywhere yeah, black, i forget the name of black bear black bear cafe yeah, or something like that so. it anyway, was good it was Yummy good food. like home cooked food so it was mm. really good we did eat a lot we did eat <laughs> we weren't we weren't going hungry no we weren't yeah we thought we would be so savvy as to go to the walmart and get stuff for breakfast we didn't hardly even we had to throw it out it got it got hot on the yeah. way home and it's just the nasty hot eggs the yeah set in not, good. They aren't not good. good so so anyway yeah we did not go hungry that was one of the things but we got set down we got our nest made and the first designer there were uh, five designers and a surprise, surprise. person yeah. came so uh nancy and i are kind of going to go in order of of when they uh taught so the first one was um uh, lisa from chessie and me and this was our uh, little pouch that we got. All of the goodies that she had for us were in this pouch. All the designers were extremely generous. They were very generous with their kits. So um, I'll show you the back. Now these are exclusive patterns, people. Don't be calling the shop saying, when are you gonna get those in? Because we're not gonna be getting them in because they're exclusive. They may be available within the next year. But this is called a Huss Wife, and what it is is uh, it's like a needle case. This is a pocket right here, and this is the inside of this. And you can see there's a 28, 26, 24. That's to hold your needles. So it's a needle case, a place to put your, like your uh, scissors and your floss. And then there's a scissor fob. You can see the pretty scissor fob. And that's a satin stitch. And then we learned, what's this stitch? Nancy did not fall oh in love with goodness. that stitch. She hated that stitch. Four-sided four stitch. Yes. Yikes. And so she was not happy, but she started with it. She should have started somewhere it made juicy. It forget how to cross stitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that was, the, that was the project, and here's the pattern. I'm not going to show you the pattern, of course. Here's the backing fabric. She gave us Whoa. the wool for the backing fabric of the... Uh, Huswife and of the little pillow, the uh, scissor fob. So you can see kind of how big the project is. It's not a very big project. Mm -hmm. It's long and skinny. Mm -hmm. Long and skinny. And then everybody, almost every designer had a stitch card. I mean a floss yeah. card. 
And this, and that's how they gave us our floss, was on these cards. Isn't that fun? So this is made up of like gentle arts and uh, classic, classic color, color works. works. And then there's, of course, the colors, and then there's her information. And um, then she gave us two strands of this polywog. And the reason she gave us that is because we made cording. Yes. To put on our, if you can see in the picture, there's cording that when you roll this up, this is a roll. So when you roll it up, you tie it with the cording, and then there's the cording for the Focus scissor. Oh, sorry. So there's the cording for the scissor fob. Are you done? Yep. And then here, we made the cording with the floss, with the polywog floss. We used a two full six stranded uh, pieces and uh, so there's a total of four six stranded pieces there to make the two different and it makes just a delicate little trim isn't that pretty mm -hmm. I enjoyed doing that did you yeah I yeah did. that was lots of fun and uh, we're gonna see about getting those uh, uh, those winders in yes and yeah. then I <clears throat> I got a little start on mine, not a big start, but you know, that was like a half a day, uh, maybe an hour's worth of stitching with the talking and the all the stuff in between. But that was pretty fun. And look at how subtle the colors are. I think it's really pretty. Now, did you work on that in the room afterwards? No. You didn't? Okay. Mm -mm. Nope, I did. only worked there. The uh, only thing I did in the room was the needle punch that needle I have punch. to get done okay. for the shop. That's right. So after, after that, um, there were two designers a day, plus the surprise person on Friday. But uh, the second designer that we had was uh, Kathy Barrick. And uh, this is what Kathy Barrick gave us. What was in here? I don't remember what was in there. Something from uh, Lisa. So, okay. So, Kathy Barrick gave us this. Inside this brown bag was all the goodies. Okay, here's something that's funny. See Dawn's paper? What's the first one she pulled out? <clears throat> that's Dawn's favorite color. When I opened my kit, what color did I get? I got blue. Her favorite color. And Isn't then that crazy weird? When she opens the box. Yep, we got a box of trinkets. You want to open your box? Got a box of trinkets. And inside were paper scissors because one of the projects was a paper project. I got the green ones and she got the blue ones. <laughs> totally unplanned. How serendipitous is that is that? Totally unplanned. Is that just unbelievable? So anyway. That's cutting edge right there. Yeah. So anyway, so for our, our thing that we got from Kathy, this is our this is our um, project. She did it in two colorways, and I like the lighter background and Dawn. Liked and the I darker. liked the darker one. And I know it looks gray there, but it's really green. Oh, it's called seaweed. And then here's her floss card. And these are silks that she gave us to stitch with. And then she gave us the pattern to make this is a paper, uh, I don't know what you would call it, just a paper hand. Hand. <laughs> it's a paper, it's a paper hand. Of anything else and here's it. the pattern. And that's what we used our papers for. To make the paper hand to make the papered hand. Isn't that pretty? So we actually can make this and weave the, uh, the two papers together to form this heart shape. So that was fun. Uh, she didn't give us any linen because she didn't know what size linen we would want. But then, in, if you'll notice in the picture here, there's these little wool hands around, and these are little needle cases. The cuff kind of flips up, and you can put your needles in there. So she gave us the pattern for that and the instructions on how to do that. And she gave us the wool. I don't know where my wool is. 
here. I'll find it. Oh, it's down here in the box. She gave us this box of goodies. And you got green wool. Uh, and I got green wool. Did you not get, what color wool did you get? What if I got blue? How oh hilarious Oh my goodness, would that, would that be so fun? So anyway, here's the wool we can make our, our little girl's hands with. Our little mittens. And here's some uh, silk. I got black wool. Ooh, black. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, black and oh, kind of the lipstick pink. and red. Oh, I love that's that. that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, I didn't even look at that. How yeah. come we didn't look at that? I just assumed I everybody know. got the same. Huh, guess not. No, that's kind of fun. Yeah. So there was that. And she gave us all these scissors to cut the paper with. And she even gave us this lace. Look at this pretty lace. Because, see, the antique one that she bought that inspired her to do this had the lace on it. So she gave us lace. And then she gave us the needles, of course. And she gave us a cutter so we could cut she and a ruler. She just, I mean, this is, takes out a lot of thinking. This takes a lot of planning. This to turn the... Uh, I don't know what this was for. I don't know because to you really turn don't something, turn you don't the turn the hands. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'll read in the is instructions. Is like a sandwich toothpick? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but look on this hand right, right here. See how it has a little ring? She even gave us the beads to do the little ring. And I think one of those needles is a beading needle. So yeah. she oh thought of I mean, she, 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 It is yeah, a beading needle. She thought of everything. Dang. It was just so, they were just so generous. And then gave us a little card. Nice. <laughs> so that was from Kathy Barrick. And uh, she is, uh, <clears throat> she's Liz, hello from Liz Matthews. She's Liz Matthews' mother. So after Kathy gave her presentation, then Liz Matthews came and gave her presentation. And Kathy's, I mean, uh, Nancy's going to show you that. Yeah. So Liz, um, we carry several of her patterns, and she was very, very sweet. She was a lot of fun, and her project was called a vanity sampler. Now, I was sitting back there in the back going, why is it called a vanity sampler? I just was not picking up on it. But if you look down here, you'll see that there's a whole square that's been taken out of the sampler. Now, when they would make the samplers, they would put their name, their age, and probably their, the date that it was finished at the bottom or somewhere in the sampler itself. But the women, so they would not know, nobody would know how old they were when they did this, they would cut that part out. And Liz bought this antique sampler from England, and when they had it framed, they folded this part under so you didn't see where it had been cut out. But then Liz unframed it and opened it, and she saw that. And I thought that was really interesting it because is. a lot of the samplers that you'll see they will have names and dates, but I guess they were pretty vain in England. But um, this was a really cool sampler. I really enjoyed it. She's She's got her signature moth butterfly. Um, Kathy and her, or Liz and her mom, Kathy, a lot of their patterns have these butterflies or moths in them somewhere. Oh, so, that makes so much sense. Yeah, and they're cute. Now, I told my um, the girls in my beginning cross stitch class that when you get a sampler like this it seems daunting because it's so big and there's so much but if you just like this part of it right here just do that part if you just like the butterflies just do that part and Dawn will tell you later that Alma kind of confirmed that because mm -hmm. That's what she talked quite a bit about. So that was fun. And then we, Liz kind of did this when she did the pillows. Because here's our floss. It's a fun floss card. So there's our floss. And then we got all this fun stuff. This was the linen. Was this 36 count? Mm-hmm. 
It's a real pretty neutral, antique looking linen. And then Liz was looking for a like a homespun to put with this and she just couldn't find the right thing. And she and her mom were in an antique shop and found this antique linen fabric and she ended up buying it and it went perfectly for the back of the piece and the back of the pillow. So this was actually the pillow. She took the time to stitch the two together for us, which was great because then Dawn was able to finish hers. After that first one, I, my eyes said no more small counts. So. so what we did was we just made a slit in the, in the um, actual uh, plaid linen here and turned this inside, we snipped the corners, we turned this inside out, and it just became a, a, a little pillow, yeah. plain pillow, just that we mounted. Like that without this. Yeah, we mounted the, she gave us elements, she gave us little mm -hmm. elements of the big uh, sampler, and asked us if Got we it. wouldn't want to make pillows yeah. out of some of the, uh, and this some is, of the elements. This is where she pulled out those little Designs. pieces parts of it that you know she thought would make a good pillow and she had them displayed in a a shallow it's almost like a tomato basket like yeah. you buy tomatoes in yeah. but it was metal and it had a handle on it and it looked really cute it was it like was. a whitewashed color to it yeah but those were really cute and it, she gave she us she gave us the buttons, buttons got all kinds of buttons pins the, to place it down so that you when you stitched it on it wouldn't move mm -hmm. and then the point turner to turn your corners um, your pins see they just thought this completely out your straight pins in order to hold everything down your needle um, what else did she oh she gave us these thread drop tags this seems to be the new thing in the the industry and um, there was there was some trading of these among the the participants, but with Liz, this shows a part of the sampler. And from market in March, with her pattern, she had these floss cards with them, which I thought was. Fun. I think that's going to be a new thing she's going to do with all of her patterns yeah. from now on. And I think some other designers are, are catching gonna, on uh -huh. to that. Yeah. And then she gave us some note cards that are the same pattern as the sampler. And I think that was it. I think from that her. was it. These was a were lot. very well thought out and complete in what they yeah. they gave us. You know, if if we were so inclined and could keep up, you know, you could actually sit down like Dawn did and finish a a piece from the retreat right there. Yeah, wasn't that thoughtful though? Yeah. Who, nobody's going to be completing the whole entire sampler. No. But to have But to have a small. fun little project mm -hmm. that you could just do and and feel like you accomplished right. something. Yeah. You know, it was really a nice feeling. Yeah. Really and it, nice. it was it's kind of a competition between our friends from Missouri and and us. They um, made it a competition. <laughs> I didn't. No, <laughs> Dawn, she was just so focused. I was so she focused was just on just. Quiet. I just wanted this little pillow so bad to be yeah. done, so that I could say I finished something. Yeah, so. and I I think if I here they are would have done one. She would have done the. Cooperated. I let me guess the butterfly moth. Yes. Yeah. This one oh, down here cool. at the bottom. Isn't yeah. that pretty? Yeah. So, and Liz has a couple, some new patterns out that we got from uh, Needlework Expo. So, if you love Liz Matthews, you'll have to come in and take a look and see what we've got. We've got several of her patterns. So. And they're beautiful. They are. They are. So, in fact, Dawn saw one. She goes, oh, look at that little bunny. And I said, yeah, yeah we've oh. had that in the shop. And she's like, no. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, we have. So, after Liz... <laughs> It was pretty, um, it was like... It was like, lunchtime. <laughs> it was, yeah, well, Liz was after lunch. Oh, she was? I think she was after lunch, definitely. My day is blurred. She was after lunch because we had Kathy in the morning, then we had lunch, then Liz came, and then after Liz, about, I'd say it was about 4 o'clock, they announced there was going to be yes. a surprise speaker come. And she wasn't going to tell us because when she Her made that announcement... 
she was still in the air and about two hours out. Oh, yeah. So, oh, wow. It was kind of like, well, I'm not going to tell you in case she doesn't make it. But so she did. She made she it. She made it. And, and we who were, was she? Uh, she was that, that, oh, that person. <laughs> it was none other than, oh, gosh, my brain went blank. I don't know her real name. I just know her from her. She's Lady Dot Creates. And if you know Lady Dot, she does the hand-dyed pom-poms, laces, chenilles, all the, the trimmy pieces, the velveteen. She does all of those for finishes. And like it, that you put around the pillows yeah. and the you know all those wonderful yeah. embellishments. When they the announced her Rick Rack. As, oh the, the Rick Rack, yeah. Yeah, so pretty. Uh, the twill tape. The twill tape. Um, all that stuff. Yeah. Lace trim. And she hand dyes it all. Yeah. I mean, she her gets colors it, are beautiful. She says they they're all white when it comes in. Yep. And then she dyes them all these beautiful colors Goes to there. match the floss, Isn't the hand dyed floss. Can't remember her I can't remember her name because yeah. she. Everybody just called her she Lady Dot. Yeah. yeah, everybody That's just called her Lady Dot. And when she introduced her, she introduced her as Lady. I don't even know that she ever told us well, her maybe real name. That's why we can't maybe remember. <laughs> There was a lot of stuff yeah, in those days. Yeah, there was days. a lot. So not only did she show up and was you know gave us the kind of the lowdown of how she does her stuff. She had a project for yeah. us, Nancy Show. And I couldn't figure out. I thought, what is she bringing us? Yeah, is what, she just going to bring, bring us, us little some samples? Yeah, or what? yeah. No. But, you know, this, was is, a whole this is kind of a representation of her products. I know. But she awesome. brought a velvet pumpkin for us to make. And I have made these before, and they are a lot of fun. Um, in the we, kit. Oh, I, oh we, we found, found her name. name. Her name is Lois. Lois. Oh, it's LoisLady.Create. There you go. But in her kit that she gave us, we have this velveteen, and she was even nice enough to put the fusible already wow. on the back. And this lethal-looking needle right here. <laughs> Can you see it on the black, or should it go on the white? No, this I is see it. a yeah. doll maker needle, which you would need in order to um, finish your pumpkin because you have to go all the way back down through the pumpkin and back up to make him look like a pumpkin. So we had all of that, and she provided She these. even drew the circle. Oh yeah, she drew the circle look, for us. She even drew the circle onto the uh, interfacing. Oh. Wasn't that nice? And what you do is you just baste. You do a basting, a running stitch around that and then mm -hmm. pull it up. Yeah. Go ahead, Draw I'm it up sorry. like a, a ball. Yeah, I'm sorry. She gave us these really fun pens. Her her theme was black and white here. So. Evidently. And then here's the, um, thread. the thread. You need to use like a heavy duty upholstery thread because I think if you used a regular sewing thread, you're going to get going and pull it up and it's going to break. Yeah. So you need a heavy, heavy duty thread. And then all these fun ribbons to tie at the top. I really liked those. Now, what she did with this ribbon, Oh, remember right. you want to mm -hmm. tell or do you want me? Go they ahead. did. They took this one, which is a, almost like a silk ribbon, and it's wider. But you gather it and you create a rosette. Yeah, you pull that once and it gathers up into, and into a circle. Yeah, and then when you have your pumpkin, she stuffed it with walnut shells in the bottom and then your fiber fill on top. And when you close up the top of your pumpkin, you, obviously you have a hole because this is heavy enough fabric that it's not going to close up completely. So you make this rosette out of this ribbon and then glue it on Thank top of that hole. Deb, appreciate it. And then on top of that, she even found these wonderful pumpkin stems. And they're real. They're real they pumpkin stems. They are the stems. real thing. This lady dries them for her. Yeah, these have to come off little pumpkins. And then you would just glue the pumpkin um, stem yeah. on top of the your rosette that you made. And then um, you tie your ribbons on it, stick your pins in it, and you've got this adorable pumpkin. And there's even a little tag. I didn't even yeah. notice that, but there's um, a little tag. And I don't she see doesn't that have it the on picture. there, but uh -uh. You could write, give thanks, or happy fall, or anything on that little tag. Of course, you'd do it with black. 
to Probably, keep with yeah. the theme. Hello. Or, or Peter, you, Peter, Pumpkin Eater. Yeah, you could put Peter, Peter. Oh, I don't know if that's Pumpkin fit. Eater on you the back. You can turn it over. I don't, <laughs> Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater. Okay. Very fun. Uh, but that was a whole nice little kit yeah. that we weren't expecting at all. No, and not got, at all. And got as an additional bonus. So that yeah. was all day Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was, we were tired. Yeah, we were tired. Thursday, we only had one designer because right. we didn't start till like three o'clock. Right. And that was uh, Chessie and me. Yeah. And uh, so then all day um, Friday, we just kept getting things. And yeah. so you just, it was like a whirlwind, wasn't yeah. it? It was and just like one thing after another thing. In all that, there were some, the participants, some of them brought little gifts, whether it was a bag of candy or floss cards or just little stickers yeah little gidgey yeah. gadgets just little things to make it fun and of course we had our our floss, our floss cards tags we should have brought cards. some but we forgot them oh uh, yeah but they're Oops. cute trust us they they're are cute. cute yeah and um lenny's been trying to figure out how to make those and i just look at it and go so easy yeah we're gonna do it for her. yeah so she's got people you know we're gonna make floss cards here for the shop yeah. so so then they're after Friday comes Saturday, so uh, the uh, room opened at 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. and so we got back in our seats at 8 o'clock, and at 8.30 we started with a new designer, and um, I don't want to say it's my favorite, because I don't want to downplay the other designers, but it was my favorite. It was my favorite. <laughs> it was she my favorite. all about it. Yeah. Alma from Blackbird was there. It was so exciting. I kept calling her Barb, because I, cause we, we worked with Barb on the fabric line. And so I kept getting confused, Alma and Barb, but it was Alma. She was so gracious, I must tell you that. I had my picture taken with all the uh, designers, and of all the designers, she says, you really want your picture taken with me? Oh, that's so nice, thank you so much. And she was just so, I mean, it was genuine from the heart. It wasn't just put yeah. on, you know? Well, and when, when Kathy Barrett came around, I'm ashamed to say I did not recognize her. But I, I mean, I know I've met her before. Yeah. And so I handed her a set of my floss cards and she just held them to her chest and she said, oh, for me, I am so honored. I mean, these, yeah. I mean, they were very down humble, to, humble, very down, down, to down to earth, earth people. They certainly were. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was good. Yeah, it, it was. was good. So, um, since she was my favorite, Nancy <laughs> said I could tell you about what yeah. we got from her. So this is what we got from Alma. And it was so beautiful. This is a very, very old retired uh, chart that uh, is not on the market anymore. And proud to have it, aren't we? Yes. We should have had her sign it. I wasn't even thinking about that. But anyway, oh, I was going to say, what do I have to do? <laughs> it came packaged like this. Nancy didn't open hers. Well, I did, but I put it back. <laughs> oh, okay. But I opened mine because, man, I couldn't stand it. This is real yes, boxwood from her garden. Yeah. And uh, so that was nice really pretty. Green. Yeah, it was really pretty. So you open up the package. There was a little uh, notebook. These are her floss cards. And then she had us, instead of her writing a hundred times on each floss card, she had us write them, but she put them in order that they are in the chart, which is kind of fun. So there's the order that they were in. And so um, this was the project, and it's from a, a sampler that she owns. And she changed it up somewhat. And I called this little bird the uh, Roadrunner because I think he looks like a Roadrunner. It's Wiley Coyote. Uh huh, Wiley Coyote. And again, she emphasized that you can take, you know, just parts of the sampler and make smaller projects. So she knew that we would not be getting that completed. So what she did was as an option. Where's that pattern? She gave us another pattern. Why isn't it in there? Is it wrapped up in here? No. She gave us another pattern of just the little Roadrunner guy, put him on the top of this, painted the little box, and made something really cute. And made just a little cute project. 
I don't know. I, I think it's you're down here. It. It's down here oh, somewhere. It? It's down here somewhere. So anyway, that so if you wanted to complete a project, you know, you could do the little roadrunner, and and that was a small enough project in the class that that could happen. But I was so excited, I couldn't hardly stand it. I had to get she a little running start. start. A running on mine. Stitch. Uh huh. Running start on mine. So you can see that here's the here's where the border starts, and that's what I started, and I stitched on that. And you and stopped where the colors changed. I did. I just stopped where the colors yeah. changed because something else caught my eye, and I had to go. <laughs> so you know how that is. And this is done on, and she gave us this little tag so we knew what the fabric was. And it was all tied in a ribbon, so pretty, so nice. And every detail, every single detail, uh, the the designers just outdid themselves on that. And Alma, she had a really nice display of everything. She did. I loved how she... Uh, immersed little uh, trinkets in her display. Mm -hmm. She had the the designs on easels and laying around and how she had them uh, uh, mounted on different things mm -hmm. behind glass, just little pieces of glass that she sandwiched in between and put a little yeah. chain on. Remember that piece? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was so pretty. All the boxes that oh, she yeah. had, uh, but she had like salt and pepper shakers with buttons in them and, and little dishes with yeah. linens and uh, trims in them. And that was really, really pretty. And uh, she just, I don't know, to me, I just love her designs. I loved meeting her and uh, getting an exclusive design from her was just yeah. really special to me. Yeah. So then after uh, that came Nancy's favorite. Would, would yeah. you say this was your favorite? I will. Okay. I would. Okay. I would. Now, one thing, it was Teresa Kogut, and um, some of you may know Teresa for Punch Needle, and you may know some of them from Cross Stitch, which we carry both here in the shop. The one thing, now, all the designers, hands down, were very, very friendly. They came around and talked to you. They were just one of us there. Mm -hmm. But we watched Teresa from the minute she walked in. She went to every single table and talked to every single person. And what I loved was she said, she starts out by saying, Hi, I'm yeah. Teresa Kogan. Like you didn't know who yeah. she was. Like you had no clue who yeah. she was. I saw her coming. Yeah. <laughs> But I you mean, saw her when she, she was, pulled her car in the parking I, lot. I did. So, how humble and how how yeah. wonderful that she didn't presume right. that you knew who she was just right. because she's some famous, yeah. to us, a famous yeah. designer. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, the fabric community, they have their, oh, I got to meet them. Yeah. And, I mean, I think every single craft has their own people. And... Teresa just happens to be my favorite. Yay! But look at this box. Yeah, look this at this. This is what she gave us. Now, Dawn was all excited about this. I was about excited it about the green. box. <laughs> I was excited about the box, but the box yeah. is is the exclusive project. It is the project. So this is the sampler that she um, designed. designed and brought to us. And her emphasis was on this bird up here. Yeah. And for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of this bird. However, when I open the box and see the name of the sampler, this is what it is. And her desire was to make this home not just a house, to make it a home, to make it inviting. So she put curtains in the windows. They're not just the, Standard the windows. Standard block-in yeah. window. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of fun. She's got her wildlife, which comes from where she lives in Michigan, that... She has a lot of wildlife there. Um, if you're familiar with her patterns, she always has the moths or butterflies, the deer, uh, rabbits, you name it, birds. They are always a part of her. I love this tree with the I heart know. on the top. I know. That's just, that is just so cute. Yeah. And then look at how she put this yeah. cat up in the air uh -huh. behind like a stamp. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but there's floating flowers. I know, it's, so, it's so whimsical. So cute yeah. and whimsical. I love it. So when we got to so open the box, the box. wasn't empty, was it? Oh, no. 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 And when Teresa opened the box, she says, I'm sorry about the color of the inside of the box. And Dawn's going, I <gasps> love it! But she says it was <laughs> too bright of a green for her. <laughs> but look look at her little packaging. It's got her, 
her sticker with Teresa Kogut's Creative Whims, and then this really fun... If you don't want to open yours, you can oh, use Oh, I already mine. opened it, oh, and you I did? stuck okay. it all back together. Okay. all right. But um, this fun tissue paper... What can we do with that, Dawn? Oh, yeah. I can think of a... Hundred, oh, we could do lots uh, of things you know, with John, our journal. 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 Peter. Journal. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need to photocopy that <laughs> tissue paper. <laughs> but then, of course, I had to tear a little bit of it. Sadly, I tried not to. I put my sticker, I very gingerly took my sticker off and put it on yes, my... Yes, you did. My green lid. But inside... Because I wasn't wasting a good sticker. Not me. No, you don't want to waste a good you sticker. You know how frugal I am. <laughs> Okay. This was so awesome, you guys. Okay. Pernice Manor. That Pernice, is the name of the pattern. the name of the bird. And that's the name of the bird. And look at this needle minder. Uh, it's the bird that's sitting on top of her house. What time do you go to lunch? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Peter's going to snatch These are going it. back out These in, our, back in our lockers. And then we got locked a, up in our locker. Yeah. Another, I don't have a locker, so I have to put it oh, in my truck. Darn. Another sticker, like what we got on the front. Now, do you realize this is a library card when you take that off? Well, let's just take it off. Yeah. I don't know if you've realized that there or not. I think I did at one point, but you know, I slept since then yeah. a little bit. You mount these to the back of your cross yeah. stitch so it keeps all the information with yeah. the cross stitch. So when stitch. I get done with this sampler when I'm 92, uh -huh. I'll stick this on the back so my kids will know what it is. And the people at Goodwill that buy it. <laughs> I'll come back and haunt them yeah, if they send I know my you stuff would. to Goodwill. I know you would. I don't think Julie won't. No. She okay. will not do it. She Alrighty. loves sentimental things, so she would hang okay. on to it. And then we got a her business card. This oh, is I her love business this. card. I love this business card. So it's got her picture card. on the back. And if you punched it, you could use it as a exactly. floss card. Exactly. And I'm sure that this is a pattern of hers. Uh. Mm -hmm. Not sure which one. I haven't really gone looking for it. It's got that face on the top. Yeah. I and then that. here's the pattern. And I didn't even open my pattern when we were there. Mm. There could be more surprises in here. There could be. Okay, and it's got all the floss in it. Aren't those pretty colors? And she's really well known for using across the board all kinds of floss. Oh, like yeah. she has not a problem putting the DMCs with the, uh, the fancy weeks. flosses yeah. and the over dyed flosses. She's she's just fine with that. And even sometimes she'll throw a silk in there every yeah. once in a while, or a, yeah. or like a a, a pearl cotton. Sometimes mm -hmm. she'll throw that in there. It's yeah. just whatever is the look she's going for. She's breaking the rules. Yeah. It seems like if and she that's wants okay. to, we'll let her break yeah, the rules. Yeah, yeah. So those are the floss colors. And didn't she say this was a funny thing as she was designing this right after? Um, What's that thing that you guys do on the where you buy the stuff that you just did? Needlework Expo. Needlework Expo. She was just finishing up that and started designing this, and it was in the spring. Yeah. <laughs> and so she started doing fall. it in spring colors, and then she thought to herself, it's in the fall. Wait a minute, we're not going there in the spring. I'm not going to be going there in the spring. I'm going to be going there in the fall. So she changed up the whole palette yeah. just for our retreat. That was mm. so fun. I loved hearing that story. Yeah. There's the fabric, which it's. The vintage country mocha, and it's plain on one yep. side and screened on the screen printed yeah. on the other side. This I would have to say is by far the designer's favorite this right year. Right now, yeah, that's yeah, a, that's a very There's good a trend. There's a lot right of them now. using it. Yeah, and yeah. It, it's very versatile. If you don't like this, you can right. If you are more flip subtle it over. and you want to go with the straight yeah. color, uh, but yeah, it's it's a nice uh, it's neutral. It's a good neutral. Good neutral. And then I'll. From the design again, this is this is yes. just a trend that they're all doing. So from the design of the original thing, she did another exclusive pattern specific for the cross stitch extravaganza. So up here at the top it says cross stitch extravaganza. We've got the Pernice bird, a couple of the flowers from um, the, the sampler design. itself, mm -hmm. and then it's dated. And it's got a fun border on the top and the bottom. So we got like two patterns from her. Uh huh. That and this fun. was really neat that it was specific to. Yeah, memories. Yeah. You know, it was a memorial. Yeah. Uh, a memory thing. Oh, and there's the, the moth, the butterfly. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could even cut that off and have that framed or have it yeah. framed with that underneath the, the yeah. thing. 
but you could frame that. Oh, that would be that cool. That's so sweet. Yeah. Or you could yeah. mount it on a box like uh, oh, uh, yeah. Alma did her cross. After you did the pattern. Yeah, after you did the pattern. Don't show you the pattern. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing good. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> so don't. So then, um, after after Teresa was done, she was done by about three o'clock. Yeah, you know, doing all the greeting and talking. You, some of them came around, and some of them you went up and stood in line to uh, Alma. You stood in line to <laughs> for a while to get her <laughs> autograph or to get a picture with her or, and to see her display and all that. And others would just come around, and so. Um, Everybody had pretty much done their business, and, yeah. and we were just stitching, and, and we had a seven-hour drive ahead of us. So we kind of packed up a little bit early. Our yes. friends had already left. Yeah, they did. And, they uh, yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention that in between Alma and Teresa, we went to the quilter station, which is the yes. quilt shop that, mm -hmm. and cross that shop that it. sponsored the, the retreat. And uh, it was lots of fun. It was almost all Civil War, and of course, cross-stitch, vintage, and, Dawn and was happy. Oh, I was in hog heaven, wasn't I? I, bought a big, I lost her a couple big times. <laughs> big bundle of fabric, and a new project bag, and so it was fun to go there and uh, see what kind of shop, because it was very, uh, I wouldn't say it was the same feel as our, fab as our shop, because they were two very different shops. We we have a very small uh, array of uh, of Civil War fabric. We pick the very best, though. So. Uh, but our store is more about d diversity, I feel. Right. Yeah. But they had a very big wool presence. Mm -hmm. and they had a whole room. Yeah, yeah. And that so, was pretty cool because yeah. I, oh, I just... I just petted it, and, you know. <laughs> it was just not a, to drool yeah, on not it. to drool on it because it could shrink <laughs> some more. But yeah. anyway, that was fun to go there. That was about I would say it was about ten minutes away from the event. Yeah, yeah, and so it wasn't very far. As we long went as she there. Followed Trixie. Yeah, as long as <laughs> Trixie got you there. <laughs> she got mad at us. Yeah, on the way she home. did. She Nancy was bad us. mouthing her, and she yeah, and she stopped talking to us. I told her us. I was sorry. Well, evidently she didn't forgive no, you because she, she stopped talking to us on the way. So anyway, that was that's just some of our so, adventures. Here's a bit of trivia: Were you aware that in Indiana, that there are over forty cities or towns? The end in Ville. Yeah, like Shelbyville or Noblesville. Yeah. And there's only five the end in Berg. This is how we entertained ourselves all the way home. <laughs> so all the way home we were counting signs of cities and roads that ended in Ville. Uh -huh. And guess between here and there, how many were there? We were 18. 18? There were three roads. Yeah, we, we bent the rules a little bit. Three it was roads. Dawn's game. It was so. my game, so I could make the rules. Yeah. Three roads, and the rest were yeah. cities. Cities or towns. Or towns. Or villes. Or villes. <laughs> uh -huh, there's little villes. But I, you know, then she said, Well, I wonder how many there are in Indiana. So I'm getting on Google and I'm finding this list. And I went, Well, that can't be because what about this one or yeah. this one? Yeah. So I went back and searched again. And that's she was I searching found. cities instead of towns. Towns and cities. And so cities. it gave me both. Yeah, it gave you both. So then I, I would count through all those, and then I counted the bergs. Then I was going to count the tons, but we were done. Yeah, then. we were done. We, we said we're too tired to be doing this. Yeah. Stop well, I think, I think we were going to ignore the route that Trixie was taking us, but I was going to take you a different way home. Oh, so. yeah, so we had to pay attention. Yeah. 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 So anyway, we just had lots of fun, and we enjoyed ourselves very much. Yes. If you ever get a chance to do a, a cross-stitch oh, retreat, yeah. uh, we are thinking about maybe planning one for here. Yes, sure. So we're going to work on that, and uh, as soon as we know any details about it, we'll let you know, okay? So thanks for uh, spending your afternoon with yeah. us. We appreciate it, and uh, we were so happy to share this with yeah. you. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye. Bye.